and I say segregation now, segregation tomorrow, and segregation forever. Not much has changed since the days of the Southern segregationists who created the original voucher programs. Why is it that my tax dollars have to go to fund schools operated based on religious beliefs that I don't agree with? It's criminal what they're doing to public education in the state. The biggest impact of school choice has been in urban areas, where charter schools and vouchers are most heavily concentrated. And if a charter school moves into a rural area, it takes them down really, really quick. Their schools are really just barely hanging on by a thread. Students were devastated. Um, so you go to school, and um, there was no indication that the school was going to close. We've allowed a system to be created that has been very divisive uh, and has really pit different communities, different school systems, different school configurations against each other, and that's not good for children. As a nation, I don't think we have any hope of surviving if we can't figure out how to coexist with people who don't think like us. Uh, and I think that the voucher and charter system works against that. And what we're fighting for is not just our schools. It is ultimately, as I began this conversation, we are fighting for the soul and foundation of our democracy.